All right, so I got the wiring all the way across the dash. It's coming in up there. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it all down here yet, but we'll figure it out. What's gonna suck about this whole ordeal is trying to get the wiring go through this boot. And going through the boot ain't the big deal. It's trying to go around all this emergency brake stuff. It's going to be a big deal. So hopefully that doesn't kick my butt too bad. But first things first, we're going to get this whole door panel off. We're going to swap the mechanisms out, the whole window mechanism, and and this. We're going to swap both of those out, and then then we'll get to work on the wiring. But before we even run wiring through here, we got to get the wiring done on the door. So we still got quite a while. We're getting there. That door right there is finished though. The power door. This is a manual door. It's just crazy I'm doing away with this. I'm, I'm glad. As you can see. Window cranks. That one over there's got buttons. Fancy side of it here. Alright, let's get to work. Um, to get these door panels off, a manual door panel and the powers are the exact same way except for the power you pop off it switches and unplug them. You pop this little thing off. Sorry for the mess. I never did clean the inside of these doors. I replaced speakers, but I never did clean the inside because I was hoping to do this one day pretty soon. So you see, you got your little screw there. It's a seven millimeter, and you pop this reflector off, just like this. You get a screwdriver in there. Put a whole lot of pressure, you'll break it. And just like that, it's off. There. Very easy to do. You just toss it over there to the side. And then you'll have a 7mm in there too. On this, if you're doing a manual, there's this little cover on here you got to pop off. I haven't got it yet. It's close. But I haven't got it yet. There's going to be a Torx behind there. It's a T20 Torx. You just need to get you one of those. There's a little screw and then it just comes off. Take the two seven millimeters off, and then this whole door panel slides up and off. And pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna get to work on that. One thing I forgot to mention is this has gotta be popped off. So I got the window crank off. Like I said, there's a, there's a little cover that pops off, and then there's a T20 Torx. The little washer kind of sits between that and the door panel. But yeah, like I said, pop this off. I've learned don't try to pry it this way, but to pry it this way, they come real off like really. Really easy. That's nasty. That's really nasty. And then door panels off. I haven't gotten real far. Um, I cleaned that that gray deal up. I pulled it off and then cleaned the door up. So to swap the the whole window motor setup thing is you take these four bolts loose. You don't even have to take them all the way out. I usually do just to give me that little bit of clearance, a little bit more clearance, but it's actually designed to just be pulled just a little bit because then it can slide this way and fall out. So that's what the big holes are about. You're going to take these two nuts off or loosen them the same way. This little bar will slide over and you push it back. And what you do is you roll this window down. There's going to be a nut just like this one. There's one about right here. And same over here, one in the same spot, just on the opposite side of the door. Um, so you're supposed to roll it down to where it gets to here. You can access that nut and that one. What I do, it's a little bit harder, but in a way it's a little bit easier. Is I throw tape across this window to hold it up. Get a shallow socket. I go up there and loosen this one. Go inside there and loosen this one. Take those both loose and pop it off. And then I pull this whole mechanism out like that. I'll put the new one in, and it will be up there, and that's how it does it. So then the window actually never moves. So that's where I'm at now. We've got to swap the window mechanism. Removing this is kind of a pain. You got these three nuts, but those are like the last, or three bolts. That's like the last thing you remove. <coughs> you got to disconnect this. The cable to this. There's a plug for the door jar. If it was an automatic like mine's is about to be, there's a plug for the switch thing, whatever you want to call it. There's going to be one for the key and one for that door handle on the other side. There's a bunch of stuff that's to it, but it's not that big of a deal to do. You just got to do it. All right, so that's where we're at so far. All right, so get all the mechanisms put in the truck. I've got the wire coming into here. I was dreading this side just because running the wire through. 
It was easier to run the wire through here than the passenger side. Sounds crazy, but it was. Lots easier. Um, so now I got the wire in here. So now I can start wiring up everything. Like I said, the window switch works great. Uh, I meant to show you how to make this. But if you open it up, it's pretty straightforward. If you're doing the swap, then I mean, you should be able to open that up and figure that out pretty easily. That's how that works. Um, I'll get y'all the pin out for this switch if this works. It should work. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Here's the old lock switch. As you can see, it's totally different. This is the plug that's going to go to the lock actuator. That right there was the door jar for the 08. I just swapped my door jar switch into here because they were different. If you're doing the newer model trucks, these will actually be the same. And I believe that's, that's all I have for right now. I'm going to get to work on the wiring. We'll see how this goes. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these switches because this one's actually bad. So, you can get a fly screwdriver. Lines pin pliers. That's it. So, I'm going to do all this on the back of the bed. Right over here. We'll take this one apart to get that off. And we may not, because that one's kind of worn out looking. So let's actually go over here. We'll take apart this one. But we got I gotta take that one apart to put it back in this because this is actually being sold right now. So whoever buys it is getting a switch that I believe is bad. Alright, so what you do is pop this cover off. You can flash whatever you can kinda of get in there and just kinda of pop it off inside and then you pull it. So let me do that. Alright, so now you're looking at this. You can see the two LEDs and this is the actual switch. Okay. Like I said, get that popped off. And then go and do the exact same thing here. You just pop it off and just like that it's off too okay so if you look inside you see a little tab right there that I was talking about that right there is what hits that right there on this switch and as you see on this one they don't have it on that side so what you do is you get the lines with pliers and you just grab that and kind of like just twist it very easily and it just snaps off so let's do that and just like that it's off so now this will actually pop on to this. Let's see if you can't get it on there. It's not on there straight. Still is it? No, it is. And now you've just made your window switch lock switch. The other thing you gotta take off is look, it's on this side. Yeah, it's a little nub right there. Just do the same thing right there and get it off or it won't fit into where the lock switch goes as you see it's got a slot for it so just twist it off and then it's good to go so that's how you make a lock switch out of a window switch alright so I don't remember where we left off but this wiring was completely wrong on this door it's still weird everything don't work right but it works good enough to make me happy so these two wires right here that are both ground wires from the lock switch. You do away with it. Holy crap, hold on. 